so the other day I was uh, browsing around the internet and I saw this meme, which is basically just someone trying to do a C project and then they found out that there's no STD vector five minutes later. So I figured uh, a lot of people feel like this and I felt like this at the start. So let's just implement uh, a vector that is going to be generic and uh, you can make um, any struct with the same structure and insert items into it. Um, so yeah, uh, first of all, we're going to make our struct. So there's going to be vector. We're going to make it uh, in 32T at the start. We're going to change um, this up later. We're going to make length and we're going to make capacity. Then uh, we're going to initialize vector to zero. And we're going to make a function that is called append. And uh, it's going to take in vector pointer and a value, which is going to be int 32. Uh, if vector dot uh, length is higher or equal to vector dot capacity. Uh, then we have to initialize the the vector, or um, or make the capacity bigger. So uh, if capacity is equal to zero, then we're gonna make vector dot capacity equal to two. Uh, else, we're gonna multiply it by two. And uh, we're gonna vector dot data is equal to vector dot oh, sorry realloc um, vector dot data, and uh, this is gonna be vector dot capacity multiplied by size of, and we're gonna do data. Uh, you can do zero to get the first element of the array, and um, yeah, get, get the type of it, or you can dereference since th this is like the, the, the same thing. You get the first element uh, and the type. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Uh, how this works is basically you start with zero, uh, zero capacity. So it sees these, uh, this and it gets on this. So it makes it equal to two. So it allocates this two. Once we push twice, so push, push, uh, it says that we have no more space, so it allocates four since we multiply by, by two. And then uh, it allocates eight, then it allocates 16, etc., etc. Uh, include this. You can make this equal to 128 or whatever you want. Just gonna keep it like this for simplicity. Then a vector uh, data. It's going to be equal to value. And uh, you can do this afterwards. Or you can just do it here directly, because what's uh, happening here is basically you uh, give the value, which in this case would be zero, and then you add to that plus plus. Uh, so yeah, that's the way it works. If you did it the other way, then it would add the number first and then, you know, put the number there, uh, which would make it one at the start. So that's why that works. And then uh, we're going to initialize the the vector. So it's going to be in 32. Uh, I is equal to zero. I is less than 10. I plus plus and append. Um, vector i uh, and this is a point and we are going to print it so in 32 t uh just going to copy this except this would be vector dot length and uh here we're going to print uh, each of the values I. 
and uh, we are gonna gcc uh, main.c dash o main.exe and main.exe and it prints 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 since we, we did that. We can also uh, check how many times it uh, resized. Print F resized. None it. There we go. And it reset. That's nice. It resized four times, right? So first here, second uh, here. Well, you know, <laughs> you, you, you get it. Uh, then we're gonna add a um, pop method. And uh, we can return it uh, 32. Well, for simplicity, I'm just gonna keep it like this. Uh, and uh, it's just like that. So we don't need this. And uh, here, basically, what we're going to do is um, this value is going to be equal to zero. And we're going to do vector dot length is uh, minus minus. We are also going to assert that uh, ve vector dot length is higher than zero else um vector should be higher than zero to pop yeah and um we can just you know we we can pop twice less than two and uh just pop uh, so we shouldn't have, um, okay, first of all, we're going to import this well, from the wrong place. Uh, first that, and uh, what is going on? Oh. What? Okay, there we go. I don't know what happened. Anyways, um... Yeah, we're, we're gonna pop twice, uh, so it should say 0 to 7. Yeah, and there we go. And it popped twice. So that's how you implement the pop. You don't need to do this, but uh, you know, it's better to remove what was there before. Now we're gonna implement shift. Um, so shift is uh, basically grabbing all the memory uh, plus one, so from here, and moving it to the left. Um, yeah, that's it. And on shift is the opposite, moving it to the right. So let's implement on shift, uh, uh, shift first. Um, this is the same thing then we have to make uh we have to make uh data okay see we have to mem move um and uh we can check the parameters of this you have destination source and size so the destination will be at zero, right? So, because we want to move the memory to the left. So we can do vector data zero. Uh, the source is from here on, because we have zero one, we want to move one to the left. So yeah, uh, vector dot data one. And uh, the size would be uh, the same as this capacity and uh, multiplied by data. Uh, yeah, I forgot about this. Damn it. There we go. And we have to make this pointers. 
Good. So um, we're going to do this twice. And then we're going to shift uh, twice. So we should have uh, until 7. And then we should uh, take off 0 and 1. There we go. So we have from 2 to 7, right? Uh, same thing for unshift. So unshift is actually very similar. Um, we don't need this. We need the capacity again. Good. And uh, we have to move... Um, we have to move it like this, so I'm going to remove all of this. Uh, basically, what we want to do in this case is whatever is on here till the end, we want to move it to the right. So the, um, the source would be zero, because we want to copy from here on, and the destination is plus one, so here. We move everything to the right. Uh, and this is going to be plus plus, uh, and we have to do the, the same thing here. Um, I mean, not the same thing. Sorry. We have to CI zero, uh, set the value. So this, this is in 32 T value and, uh, yeah, we plus plus at the end. Uh, so we are going to do that, uh, print F here. We are going to put, uh, post, um, shift, something like that. Um, and what we're going to do is we are going to, Yeah, we're just going to do it like this until two. And we are going to um, just unshift vector value is going to be I. So what is going to happen is we are first going to get uh, zero and we're going to insert it here. Then uh, this is going to move to the right. So zero is going to be here and we're going to insert one. That's how it should look like. Uh, yeah, so do that. We're gonna print everything again. And uh, it work. Length plus plus. Where is it? Here. There we go. So one zero as expected. Good. So we have um, append pop shift uh, on shift. We are going to add insert and uh, we should be done. So insert vector value. This is the same thing. Uh, and what we want to do is add uh, on here um, a value, right? And we have to move everything to the right. So it's very similar to this. Um, basically, if we want to insert at two, first we need um, int 32t index, the index that we want to uh, insert that. So we need index plus one because we want to move it to the right. This is the destination, remember. And the source is index because uh, we want to grab from here on. Uh, that's same as always. And we insert at index length plus plus, And that's it, actually. It was uh, very easy. And uh, yeah, we are going to insert at vector index 2, and we are going to add uh, 10. Sorry, there we go. And uh, this is going to look like 1, 0, 10, and I think this should be 2. Um, what happened? Oops, there we go. One, zero, ten. Yeah, and two. Good. 
Uh, okay, so we have all the functions implemented. Now, the only problem, you, you can also move this to another function if you wanted to make it, uh, I don't know, more elegant or whatever. Um, but uh, the main issue we have is we change this to, uh, I don't know, car pointer pointer and uh, it won't work because, uh, well, this takes this. So uh, to make it uh, work, we're going to have to use macros, uh, which is pretty easy. In fact, you just do define. Uh, I'm just going to do it for this one. You can do it for the rest uh, since it's very similar. First of all, uh, we're going to remove this. Yeah, and uh, we're going to... Um, we're going to replace this to dot uh, globally. Uh, yeah, so like that. Uh, then we are going to define this, remove that, remove that. Uh, you can do while uh, do while zero. And um, we're going to add to the end of this, uh, that, and uh, there you go. So now when you want to use append, you no longer have to, um, you know, um, give by reference and it works the same way as it did before. Uh, so yeah, let's see if it is, yeah, two, three, four, two, three, four. Yeah, it's the same thing. Uh, so you, you can implement this for um, all of the rest and uh, you will have macros for whatever struct you want. All you have to really do is um, just set this three values and you have uh, structs for life. So I hope uh, now you're not so much intimidated by uh, not having vectors in C because they're really easy to implement and in fact uh, everything in, that you don't have in C is very easy to implement, it's just that you don't know how to implement it yet. Uh, so just look up some tutorials, you'll find a way, and uh, you'll learn a lot in the process. Thank you for watching.